Clayton has color treated hair with a soft, loose curl. Hand drying her hair allows her to work with her natural texture and get a smooth wave. Hi, my name is Clayton and I'm a colorist at Bumble and Bumble. I'll be doing a blowout with smooth waves and adding a little bit more of a lived in texture. So I'll be using a few tools to create my look. I'll be using combs, a blow dryer with a nozzle, and a wand curling iron. I'm going to prepare my hair with prep. It's going to give a little bit of slip and a little moisture. I'm going to make sure that all of my hair is saturated with it and then I'll be combing it through. Now I'm going to apply thickening hairspray. It will give me a little bit of hold and control to the style. Next I'm going to apply straight blow dry to my hair. It's heat activated so I'll start the smoothing process with the heat of the blow dryer. So now I'm going to start to hand dry my hair with my hands in the blow dryer. I'm going to concentrate on getting lift at the root, using the blow dryer to direct the air where I want it to go. So now that my hair is 100% dry, I'm going to use my wand curling iron to start creating the waves. What I'll do is I'll part my hair in the middle, that's where I normally wear it, and I'm going to split my hair down the center completely to make it easier and more organized. I'm going to start in this area so that it starts to frame the face and create the shape of the style. Then I'm going to work from the bottom up. So I'm holding the wand facing down and I'm curling the hair away from my face. Holding it down just creates a little bit easier way for you to wrap the hair around the barrel. And I'm being very careful of my fingertips at the very end. So now I finish with all of my curls. I'm going to let my hair cool for about five minutes before I finish off the style. So now I'm going to start to actually rake through my curls and start to break down, giving more of a lived-in feel. I'm going to use a color-minded UV protective polish to help me break down the style a little bit. So I'm doing a combination of twisting and then sort of skipping rope with my hair, just to kind of drag down the curl so it's not so springy. And then I'm giving a little airiness and movement to the curl so they can separate. So I got a little bit more of a relaxed polish wave. This look works for me because it's pretty low maintenance. It's still shiny, it still has a nice definition to it, but it's not Shirley Temple curls. It's more of a lived-in texture.